everyone, this is Daniel Scranton, and I'm in a channel there of Turing Council. <laughs> oh. process of becoming our oversouls for quite some time now, just as you have been in the process of becoming your higher selves. We are excited to get to know ourselves as a broader and more expansive consciousness. But we are not waiting for the shift in consciousness to be complete before we experiment with the idea of ourselves as our oversouls. We suggest that you do the same ask yourselves how you would think, feel, create, and even hold yourselves 
if you were already your fifth dimensional higher self. What would be your average day? You can start to contemplate these ideas because as fourth dimensional beings you are capable of accessing the fifth. Your higher selves are inside of you. They are not separate from you. They are not out there somewhere. Your higher selves are you without all the filtration Feeling into your higher self is like feeling into your superhero self. If you imagine all of the abilities you would like to possess as your superhero self, you start to get an idea of who you will be as you fully embody your higher self's consciousness. Not everyone will be the same. After you shift to the fifth dimension, not all of you will have the same abilities and not all of you will have the same interests. But one thing you will have in common is that you will be able to pursue your interests, your passions without any limitations. And that will be fun. Right now is an excellent time for you all to be focusing more on fun. As things continue to be very serious on your world. And there will be plenty of opportunities for you to take life on earth as it is seriously. And that means you will need to consciously choose to have a more light-hearted approach to life and a perspective that allows for more play, more laughter, and more fun. Your fifth dimensional selves are also essentially fairy beings. As they have been occupying the fifth dimension and inviting you to their little parties. But not everyone is answering that invitation in the affirmative. Children do. But as adults, you tend to get embroiled in more serious matters 
because you have more responsibilities. And because you know that there is a lot riding on whether you complete a task so that you can pay your rent or mortgage. But we say to you that in spite of all of that, there is still room for more fun. As you explore who you are as your fifth dimensional selves. And the only rule in playing that game is that there are no rules. Well, the turn comes, and we have enjoyed connecting with oh <laughs> hello <clears throat> had to move a little bit further off center than I usually am because of this this new friend over here that I picked up today while my wife and Talay were in the car <laughs> waiting for me as I went into, there's a place here. It's uh, Kula Hardware, but it's also Kula Nursery. So um, they have a nursery. They have a hardware store upstairs and a nursery downstairs. And I had to get a thing um, for an outlet that got power washed, <laughs> unfortunately, last Friday and wasn't working anymore, so I had to go get that little part. And I saw this and and a um, orchid which is behind the camera and um, had to have them. So um, I picked her up today. And I don't know if this is going to be a permanent location or if we're going to get another one for the other corner here. But this is where all the windows are. So this is the ideal location in the living room. It'd be nice to have them, you know. Uh, have plants on either side of the couch, but then there's virtually no direct sunlight. Although this plant over here, that past the Christmas tree, past the television, that one does pretty good, considering, um, and uh, almost complete lack of direct sunlight, I would say, because <laughs> those those curtains behind the, even if those curtains were open behind the TV, it wouldn't bring in that much light. Oh, and then I don't know if you can see at the bottom of the Christmas tree. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. That right there. Oh, you can't see my finger. <laughs> but at the very bottom, where the string of lights at the bottom is, there's a um, penguin uh, ornament that I saw at Whole Foods today. And I thought, oh, that's just too cute. We want little handmade ones, you know, um, really trying to keep it classy. <laughs> but I thought, wouldn't it be cool if Talea were to be the one to put the first ornament on our first Christmas tree as a family? And she did, and we videoed it, and we took a picture of it, and um, um, my wife's just a very private person, which is why I don't share more. <laughs> of Talea's stuff, um, pictures and stuff, but um, yeah, you can imagine how cute it was. And then also today, I um, I was watching her by myself for a little while, and she, um, she was on the ground outside in the grass, and then I, and she just popped up and just took like 10, 12 steps forward, like she really went for it. <laughs> And uh, it was so cool, and she, she walked a lot today, so. Um, 
And then sometimes I look at her and I'm like, you're just, you're such a baby. Like, you're still such a little baby. <laughs> but she's growing up so fast. Oh, and then also last night, um, I don't know where Kaliandra is, by the way. She must be outside playing. Kaliandra is named after a fairy, by the way. That Nora Harold channels. Um, my good friend Nora Harold, who I love dearly, um, channels a fairy named Kaliandra. And Kaliandra the fairy told me that I had better name one of my kittens after her. <laughs> so I was like, okay, that makes that easy, picking a name for little Kaliandra. Um... Oh, the thing I was going to tell you about that I'm really excited about. I found out yesterday that the show Titans from the DC Universe was on HBO Max, which I've been subscribing to for a while. And um, that show, I started watching over from the beginning. And I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad I wasn't like, well, let me just pick up where I left off in season two and finish season two. Because that show is so good. I mean, it's very dark at times and violent, but it is such a good show. And um, yet another completely underrated DC Comics show. Um, so many of these shows are done by this guy, Greg Berlanti, um, who I f now follow on Instagram. And he's super young. Um, and he's doing all these DC shows at the same time executive producing. I don't know how involved he is, how much writing he does, but um, yeah, I'm super impressed. Anyway, uh, that's what's going on. Got a work day tomorrow and then Sunday off again and got so much done today that Sunday should be a nice breezy, easy, lovely day off. Um, and I hope you guys are doing well and having a good weekend. And um, I, I do have a Light Languages course to push down below in the comment, not comments, the description of this video on YouTube. There is a link to it. If you're on Instagram, Facebook watching me right now, just go to my website, danielsgrand.com, and you'll see events on the menu. And you click that, and you'll see it. Okay? Three weeks starting... November 11th, 11-11. Namaste, everybody. I love you. Take care of yourselves. Be well. Um, listen to what the Arcturian said and have some fun because it is a very harsh and serious world at times, and we've got to make room for joy in it, you know. Anyway, my two cents. Take care. Come back tomorrow. There'll be more. From the Arcturian. No, tomorrow is my night off. Sorry. Sunday night I'll be back with more. But subscribe on YouTube anyway. Hit the little subscribe dealie. And uh, everywhere else. See you later.